Catholic workers who, who took action out in Shannon were here. Mary Kelly was here as well. Now Margaret Darcy is inside for what she might do if she hadn't promised not to stay out of the airport. So because of the fact that she has not signed a bond which was imposed upon her by the court, she has been sentenced to three months in here in the prison. And it's a particular travesty of justice when a peace activist ends up behind bars in Limerick Prison when you consider all of the human rights abusers and war criminals that have gone through Shannon Airport. All she was doing was trying to draw attention. The frustrations that we've had for years, that Margaret has had for years, trying to draw the attention of the authorities to what has been going through Shannon Airport, trying to get them to take action, is something to be commended and she's to be highly praised for, for that. So we do owe a huge debt of gratitude to Margaret for the years of action she's been taking. It's, it's only fair that we will be here with her in solidarity for an hour this evening. So we'll stay up until until six for those of you who can. We are going to ask people to come back for as long as she's here once a week. So we'll do this at five o'clock every Friday for as long as she's here. So I hope that you'll be able to join us to do that. Meanwhile, write to the Minister for Justice asking him to implement proper justice. Have, we have said to Margreta that she shouldn't be in there, that she should be free. Margreta's message was that the point and the objective should not be to free Margreta Darcy, it should be to free US, to free Shannon of the US military and of the war criminals and the human rights abuses that are going through. Absolutely. So we're going to continue to do that. We're going to be out in Shannon doing that. And we're going to be here, as I said, in solidarity with Margreta as well. Here, here. Woo!